Well, hello and welcome to uh, another COVID uh, vlog, as some people started calling it recently. Um, well, today was not an easy day for me uh, because we started uh, over at the college the ESL classes online. Um, and for a number of reasons, people were not really prepared. And um, some people didn't even have their books because they left their books somewhere else and they were in some other home. And well, it was a challenge, but the challenge was uh, faced and done. I, took, I, took, I taught three classes today. One was um, my usual class in the morning that I always teach. And then I had the ESL classes uh, at one and at six. Whew, not easy to do it because the groups are much bigger and there's more people, although not everybody showed up this time around. Uh, like some classes that had like over 20 students, we had like 10. We don't know if they're around. We don't know if they just, you know, left the country or whatever. Uh, who knows? Uh, but we're doing what we can, and we're teaching, and that's the end of the story, right? Okay. Um, I did not even put my nose out the door today except for a quick stroll over at the patio here in the building. I was outside for like 10 minutes. I took a few snapshots of the neighborhood. Uh, you can see it on Instagram, Instagram, uh, Ernest Barteldis, right? Um... But uh, nothing really interesting to see there. I mean, uh, just the neighborhood. I mean, seen from afar, from from the top of the building or something like that. So, so it's yeah. Um, I I have followed the news. I heard that we had the this, today we have we had the largest number of deaths in a single day in the U.S. Over almost six hundred people died in one day here in the U.S., which is staggering. I mean. Um, and we actually started hearing about people that friends of friends of friends who who are who got sick and uh <clears throat> so far nobody close to us got sick right god help us right and uh that's pretty much all i have to say about this uh today uh and uh, now there's an interesting thing on the internet uh you know george harrison's son danny harrison He's a musician as well, like his father. He looks exactly like his father. I mean, if you look at, because uh, he must be what now? He's like 40-something years old. So he looks like George when he was 40, when he was 40 in his early 40s. So, um, and he gave this call, thing called the Inner Light Challenge, hashtag Inner Light Challenge 2020. And uh, the idea is, if you play, there's a song of the Beatles called The Inner Light. George Harrison wrote it. And it's perfect for this time because it talks about uh, about you know looking at inside, looking inside yourself, and not looking out, and not having to go outside to recognize yourself. And and I and I uh, I kind of kind of almost had forgotten that song. It's one of these songs that they were not a hit. They were I think it was the B side of of some one of the Beatles singles. I, I'm not sure if it was Hey Jude or. Or if it was uh, Revolution, I can't remember right now, but I know it was definitely um, one of those two at '68, and it's a beautiful song. Um, simple, super, super easy to play. Uh, I just picked up my my uke and I learned it in like two seconds, and uh, I'm gonna play it for you now. Okay, it's a very interesting song. It's called "The Inner Light." It's from um, the Past Masters album. The album had the like of the B sides and singles. They were not the non-album tracks of the Beatles, right? Uh, so here we go. Let's uh, here you go. I'll play it on, on my own version. Doesn't sound anything like the way George Harrison did it. But if you look at the Danny Harrison version, it's very different too. It's much more subtle. Uh, he he doesn't even play an instrument. He plays a, a this little thing with it. I don't know the name of that Indian thing. He's like, ooh, ooh, that's it, you know. So here we go on ukulele. The Beatles on ukulele, huh? I, I missed that. I, there was this show in Brooklyn that they used to do this. It was a lot of fun. So here we go. Without going out of my door, I can know all things on earth. Without looking out of my window, 
I can know the ways of heaven The farther one travels The less one knows The less one really knows Without going out of my door I can know all things on earth Without looking out of my window You can know the ways of heaven The farther one travels The less one knows The less one really Yeah, so this is the uh, what Danny Harrison's foundation, uh, the the uh, Material World Foundation, is actually donating a um, dollar for each person that posts this song on social media with a hashtag Inner Light 2020. So they're going to give the money to charity to fight uh, this horrible virus, and I accepted the challenge. I guess always been a huge George Harrison fan. Uh, uh, my favorite Beatles is, is George Harrison, and interesting enough, we share birthdays. I think I mentioned this already, uh, so, except years, of course. Uh, he would have been, if he had lived, he would have been like around 75, 76. Now, he was a little bit younger than Paul McCartney is. Um, Ringo's turning 80, but that's another story. Right, so that's it uh, for today, and have and be well and be healthy, and I'll see you all tomorrow.